So I know the general consensus for live comms is that if you're doing a live comm, the gameplay will most likely not be as high quality as if you were doing one without a live comm. And holy shit, I didn't realize how much of a difference it actually made. Um, right here I've got a free-for-all on studio. Um, and like you guys have seen, you've seen my um, live free-for-all series, you've seen all the episodes that I posted up. I've even posted an episode on this map using basically the exact same kind of tactics that I used in this game and it made such a significant difference. It's absolutely insane. Like I think on average my average score for a free for all in the live com series is right around like 30 and 20, like right around 20 deaths or something like that when I win a game. And when I'm playing free-for-all just, you know, by myself, whether I'm in a party or just completely by myself not talking, on average I'm finishing between like 30 and 10 and 30 and 15. But it just makes such a significant difference and it is like just incredible to me to notice like how different my shots are, how different my mentality is. Um, like how smooth everything is just while I'm just focusing on the game. I'm no longer thinking about, you know, a topic or trying to hold a conversation to be interesting. I'm just playing and I'm going on streaks. I'm playing incredibly well and it's just completely baffling to me. Like a shot like that is not something that on average I would hit during a live com series. But when I'm playing free for all by myself, yeah. I'll hit stuff like that, and it's just incredible to me, like, that difference that it makes, and it's like, ideally, this is the stage that I want to be at with my live comm series. I tell you guys all the time, like, man, I'm extremely disappointed with the score that I got when I win and I go, like, 30 and 20, which is still, I mean, it's respectable. It's like, what, a 1.6 KD? 1.3? I don't know. Something, I think it's like one. I don't know exactly um, off the top of my head, but I mean, that's a respectable score, like as far as KD wise, but for me, it just looks so ugly. Like having any more than 10 deaths or something in a free for all to me just looks incredibly ugly. And I just hate like posting something like that. And so you guys see how disappointed I get and right there. I mean, that was really shitty, but I just absolutely hate how much like I die in my live comm series and I realize part of it's from me like getting frustrated and overreacting to things that I shouldn't be overreacting to. Um, so I'm trying to work on that, I'm trying to fix that, but it's just incredible to me that, like I've said, you know, the difference that it does make, the shots that I'm hitting. Um, I've got another gameplay that I started because um, I started a second account that's going to be strictly free for all. And just on the first day of using that account, I was, or I got a gameplay where I started the round 20 and 0. Like I started with an incredible stretch in a free for all game, and then I died right at the 20th kill, and then everything just fell apart from that point. I ended up going 30 and 12. But I'm curious if you guys still want to see it. I mean, obviously, it's a good streak to start, it's a horrible finish. But just kind of let me know if you guys want to see it, and I'll use it in a future gameplay. If not, then I'll probably just trash it. But um, there you go, guys. That was a short four-minute gameplay. I went 30 and 6. Like, that's way better than any score I've ever had in my live free-for-all series. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Kind of give me your thoughts on what I can do as far as improving my scores just in the live comp series. But thank you. I'm out.